Unit 8, Budgeting. Keeping a budget will help you know how much money you have. If you're receiving financial support, either from the government and or your sponsors, the amount will be limited and only enough to cover your basic needs. The amount you receive in financial support will depend on many factors, including family size, ages of family members, where you live, your family needs, and other sources of income. The length of time that these supports will last depends on your resettlement program. Based on your individual circumstances, you may receive additional allowances. These may include allowances for families with a newborn, people over the age of 65, people with specific dietary needs, or additional help in paying for housing. The cost of living differs depending on where you live in Canada. It can vary from one province and territory to another, between big cities and rural areas, and it might also vary depending on the neighborhood in which you live. Once you're living in your permanent home, you will need to pay for your basic living costs and other essential expenses, such as paying your rent and utility bills on time every month, and buying food. Keeping a budget can help you track how much money you have and can spend. Here are some useful tips to save money. You can share a house or an apartment with someone and pay part of the rent. You can look for housing with utilities, heating, water, and electricity included in the cost of the rent. This is a fixed cost that could help you with budgeting. Otherwise, the cost of utilities is separate from your rent and will vary based on personal use. You can use public transportation instead of buying a car. You can buy fresh food and prepare meals at home instead of ordering food or eating in restaurants. You can look for stores and products with the lowest prices and check store flyers for deals. Instead of having both a cell phone and a landline telephone, you can choose only to have one to save on communication costs. You can also use the internet or buy calling cards to make long distance calls. You can also use free internet available at libraries or other public places. Always make sure to compare the terms and conditions before choosing a contract or a payment plan for a cell phone, cable television, internet, furniture, or a car, and search for discounts available. Budget your expenses so that you can live with the money you receive. If you overspend, you will not receive more money. Those who are supporting you can advise you on how to responsibly spend the limited amount of money you receive. For example, you can ask your government-funded organization or your sponsors if low-cost childcare is available in your community or share responsibilities with other parents. They can also tell you where to look for sales, how to use discount coupons, how to do comparison shopping, and how to find out about private sales. Having a realistic expectation regarding what you will be able to do with the money you receive will help you adjust to life in Canada.